If I could have everyone's attention, please. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Steve Brown. And I'm the guy who threw this little party. I wanted to take a moment to thank all of you for coming out and making this event what it is. But I also need to stop and thank someone else. It's always easy to congratulate someone when you see them doing something. But for the most part, you never see the people who have done all of the work. Because everything that we do, we stood on someone else's shoulders to get here. So a lot of you have seen me walking around the hall and you've come up to me and you've thanked me for running this event. But I didn't run this event. I learned how to run this event from a lot of other people. I've been in the yo-yo industry for 21 years now. And in that time, I've had a tremendous number of mentors and friends and a lot of people who have taught me all of the skills that I needed to get here in this moment and be able to do this for you. And out of all of those names and all of those faces, there is one that stands above the rest. And he's the guy who gave me my very first job in yo-yo. He's the guy who saw a skinny, homeless 19-year-old and said, screw it, I think he'll be okay. He taught me to love yo-yos. He has been an incredible mentor, a dear friend, and for many, many, many years, he ran the World Yo-Yo Contest. He has done so much for me and for this entire industry and community that any thank you I could possibly give him feels like not even close to enough. But I'm gonna try and today, we are going to give Mr. Greg Cohen the Lifetime Achievement Award. Missing two years of this contest and coming back made me realize it's not a contest, it's a family reunion. And in a little way, each of you have become a part of my family. But I do want to thank my family for letting me, giving me so much latitude so that I could dedicate the time to work on this contest. Sarah Jane, I can't see anything with these lights in my eyes, but I know you're out there. Thank you. And I think everyone else should thank you for, letting me, for them letting me do this. And Steve, the story you told was mitigated by one event when you were working in my store. So there I am, I had two locations, a cart in the mall and my store, and I'm working in the store, and Steve, who'd been working in the back, underweight, malnourished, too many piercings to describe, he doesn't even have them all anymore, I didn't know those things were reversible. And uh, in comes, I had to stick him out on the mall card. He put on a fedora, he looked like a very skinny Harry Anderson. Stuck him in the mall card because the guy who was supposed to work there who never worked for me again didn't show up. And I had some customers come in and they said they were sent there from the mall. And the son said, yes, there was this nice guy at the mall with a tongue stud. Oh, sorry, no, he, I think his lip was pierced and the mother went, no, he had a tongue stud. He's so good with children. <laughs> to this day, I've never ho heard that sentence again. So Steve, thank you. 
and thank all of you for letting us do this. I mean, we couldn't do this without you being here. I want to thank all the kids that were in my store, like little Steve Brown and little Mark McBride, who are here still. Hey, Mark. How are you doing? And I want to point out that the torch is passed. Turn this way. Put down your arms. He will someday fit in my shoes.